Hi, welcome to your Optavia Lifebook audio channel. I'm so glad that you're joining me today. My name is Christy Baker and I am a certified independent Optavia health coach. And one of my pleasures is getting the opportunity to read to you from your life book. This is such an incredible resource for you on your journey to healthy weight and beyond. And this chapter that we're gonna focus on today is element 16 and it's dealing with addictive food. And now this chapter has such an incredible implications for really helping us understand the toxicity of the things that we used to put into our bodies and why it is so important to be vigilant about not letting those return into our diet now that we've done the really hard work of getting healthy and now we're in the staying healthy part. So before we dive into our text today, if you could take just a quick second to like the channel and subscribe, that way you know when the next video is coming out. And it also just lets other people on YouTube get access to this great resource. Um, but one of the things that I just wanted to just encourage you to do is I'm gonna be asking some reflective questions as we go through the reading for this chapter. Take a moment stop, reflect on it, and if you're out on the go, use your phone and text yourself just some of the things that you want to remember so you can share those with your coach on your next check-in call. All right, let's go ahead and get started today. We're gonna to be reading on page 318. 10,000 years ago, it was highly advantageous when we could assume a food's health benefits by its beautiful color, overwhelming fragrance, and the sweet taste of the fruit itself. Unfortunately, today our society is completely saturated with cues to signal tasty, sugary, salty, and easily obtained unhealthy ultra-processed foods. Everywhere you go, you are inundated with advertisements and enticing brands, pictures, videos, and access to highly processed, highly addictive food that is portable, cheap, and available for just about any occasion. During those times when you are under stress, having an emotional crisis, or just bored, it offers a quick fix by a sugar jolting your energy and providing immediate, short-lasting pleasure. In this element, we're going to help equip you with better understanding of why these toxic non-food substances should be treated much like you would cocaine or heroin. The habits of disease can create, create instantaneous pleasure, but they will immediately result in significant consequences to your health and well-being. In part 2.5 in Dr. A's Habits of Health, I talk about the addictive nature of ultra processed food. Please read the white powder section in that chapter because it may save your life. The refined state of sugar and flour are everywhere. Those powders form the basis, not just for breads and buns, but for a huge variety of processed foods from cereals, crackers, and pizza dough to cookies, cakes, and ice cream cones as a result, the average American now eats 10 servings of refined grains each day. And as we showed you in part 1.1 in Dr. A's Habits of Health, refined sugar is in everything. In fact, we're consuming an average of over 150 pounds of refined sugar and flour products a year. So I'm gonna show you just a short little diagram there. It talks about when we're eating healthy food, our energy is high. When we're eating the refined processed food, our energy is low and leads to chronic poor health. I talked about how the food industry is creating an addiction to this food. And by now, you're probably tired of me talking about how bad these foods are that make up the habits of disease for you and your health and well-being. But hopefully you are coming out of phase one at a healthier weight and the highest level of well-being you've had in years. And you realize this is much due to eliminating toxic foods as it is about reaching a healthy weight. 
In fact, you may have sampled some of those toxic foods during your transition, and you probably noticed that they made you feel bad. I want to have this talk with you now as you work through your transition and on to eating healthy for the rest of your life. Avoid introducing ultra-refined sugar and flour into your diet at all costs. They are kryptonite and cause insatiable hunger and cravings, leading to addiction and loss of self-control. We're going to be breaking this chapter up into three short sections, just so they're quick, you can get in, get out, but really have something to um, renew your mindset and have, help you keep going day by day and making wise and healthy choices. Thank you so much for joining me today.